Senator Barroso's attorneys actually said, you really don't need an attorney, you can handle this yourself. Before the accident, my life was absolutely normal. I was hunting, I was a fisherman, I'd wash my own car, I changed my own oil, I would cut my own grass, I went to work. Well, my full name is Harold Gene Frankes, but I go by my middle name, Gene. Once you get into an accident, they, they're, they're the Burger King people that handle you, if you will. Uh, told me that I was like tracking 60000 a year, then you have bonuses. Uh, March 29, 1999. I was living here, 34 Moss Drive in Laplace, Louisiana. We crossed the Sunshine Bridge, went down at, at the bottom, the road curves to the left, and there's a stoplight. We were at the stoplight, stopped. That's when the 18-wheeler, not known to us, was coming from behind us, Apparently, it was coming so fast that he couldn't stop. Apparently, the 18 wheel started to jackknife. He was trying to miss us because he couldn't stop. And it hit us from behind and went all the way through the right side of the van. Now, from behind on the right side of the van, that means right over the passenger side. And that's where I was. Well, it took four people to rip the car door, the van door out to get me out. That's after they climbed in, put me in a neck brace and a back brace. They rushed me to the hospital in Gonzales. I was in so much pain the next day that I, I, I just couldn't drive. They sent me through physical therapy. We tried a multitude of drugs. I have not had a week, a day, where I was pain-free with the exception of the trigger point injections. But no, uh, the, the, it's, it's constant pain. It's just to what degree. I didn't find out uh, that it was sent to Wasso's company until a year later after the accident because I didn't have an attorney within that first year. The reason I had to retain an attorney is because Senator Boisseau's representatives were not being fair. They were doing nothing for me. It is my impression that Senator Boisseau's representatives were trying to delay me from uh, retaining an attorney because they knew that after one year I had no recourse. There was no way I could come back at them for any kind of a settlement, for any kind of uh, a payment for the medical bills. Senator Boisseau and his representatives have admitted liability in writing and have not offered me a settlement. In fact, Senator Boisseau and his representatives have been delaying this case over and over and over again. My next court date is not until February of next year. Every action that Senator Boisseau and his representatives have taken shows me that they care nothing at all about me. It's been over eight years and no settlement has been offered to this day. This man is spending millions to try to become governor of this state. Based on the way that Senator Boisseau is handling my case, he cares nothing for the little man.